Hey, I'm Brian Curtis with CSTV. Colorado plays Alabama in the Independence Bowl, and who would have thought that back in August? After winning just two games last season, the Buffaloes, under a resurgent offense and freshman quarterback Cody Hawkins, won six games, including a huge upset over Oklahoma. Things couldn't be better in Boulder. Well, at least compared to last season. That's a far cry from the times now in Tuscaloosa. Not only did Alabama lose their last four games, including one at home to Louisiana Monroe, but they concluded the season with a crushing loss to Auburn. Things fell apart under first-year head coach Nick Saban, who didn't endear himself to his players or the media and made several controversial public comments about just how bad things had gotten. So who win the game? Well, if you're looking at momentum, go with Colorado. Though the defense has yet to catch up to the offense, Dan Hawkins' innovative offense is averaging 27 points a game, and you would think that that would be enough to beat Bama. On the other side, this is a tie team that beat Tennessee 41-17 and has a solid quarterback in John Parker Wilson. Will Saban ignore the seniors and go with the future, or let them old guys play it out? Can Bama put the last four games behind them? Can Colorado's defense deal with the speed in the SEC? We will all know very soon. For more college sports football news and highlights, log on to CSTV.com.